Hi, my name is Nick Metcalf and I'm a technical consultant at Pragmatic Solutions. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about Microsoft approvals. In essence, these are a way of systemizing and automating approvals within an organization, be it implementing existing or creating new approvals and embedding them into your system. An advantage of systemizing these is to enforce internal compliance and create an audit trail. Microsoft approvals work using Power Automate, which is Microsoft workflow automation engine. This allows you to integrate with a wide variety of Microsoft products, third party products, and create entirely custom integrations, which makes it a very powerful tool. Approvals is one such of these connections in Power Automate. Typically, you use the start and wait for approval. And what this does, it will send out an approval request and then wait to hear back to a response before continuing the rest of the workflow. There are four main types of these approval. The first is a simple approve or reject process. And this approval gets sent to a group who either must have everyone approve it before continuing or just wait for a single response. But there's also some scope to include custom responses uh, for these approvals, but we'll see a few of those later. So if I just go to this approve and reject, you can see you can give a title for your approval and then specify some emails that you'd like your approval to be sent to, along with some extra details and a link to the item they must approve. These approvals get sent to add by email to these email address where they can then be approved within an email, but they also get created as approvals within Microsoft Teams. So these approvals integrate directly with your emails and your teams that you may have in your organization. Once you get your response from your approval, then you can automate the action associated with that approval. And again, this will allow you to integrate with a variety of Microsoft products and third party products. A good example of a use for Microsoft approvals is with Dynamics 365, but this applies equally to any other model driven apps as they all sit within the dataverse. So in this example, we have a quote in the system which we'd like to send to a customer. But before we do that, we need to get approval. Because if you see here, it says it requires approval. So as part of that, we have created a Power Automate flow, which runs on the select of that quote. It updates it to show that the approval has been requested, and then it initiates a Microsoft approval. So here we've used that custom response type, and you can see we have three custom responses here. And then we've got a bit of details about the approval including the approver's email address that we'd like to notify them and as well as a link to that quote so they can investigate a bit further and then upon receiving their response we can then automate that response so if they accept it and approve um, then it will go in and update that quote to be approved but if it's rejected and if it requires more information it will then update it to do similar and prevent them from sending out the quote to the customer until it's been approved so if we go back to our quote, we can run this flow and see exactly how it looks. So I've sent that for approval request. And now if I go to my email client, I can see I've received a quote approval request, which looks something like this. So I have options within the email to approve, require more details and reject, which those are our custom responses and give some comments around that approval. So I can complete this approval process entirely from within my email client. Alternatively, I can use Teams. So if I go into Teams, I can see I have an activity up here and I've been seeing that I've been sent an approval request that looks something like this. And again, I've got the link to the record and then I can choose what my response is, approve, require more details or reject, and then I can submit it. So here I can submit that approval from Teams and then that will notify the person that requested my approval, which is also me. So this is what it will look like. So the person who approved it will see this as soon as their approval got approved. So you can see the final status of your approval request. If I now go back to my dynamics and go back to this record and give it a refresh, I'll now see that my quote has been updated to approved and I can now move forward to sending out that quote to my customer. Another good use for Microsoft approvals is Canvas apps. So these can sit on the Dataverse just like a model driven app, but they can also sit on other data sources such as SharePoint, for example, and other third party products. 
So you can design your Canvas apps a bit more customizable um, and embed them in places such as Teams or access them from mobile apps. And in exactly the same way, you can trigger Power Automate flows and trigger your approval process just as before. So for example, in this case, we'd be using a Canvas app for a holiday request app. So requesting approval for holiday on certain dates. Other examples of when you can use approvals within Power Automate would be with things such as SharePoint, maybe requesting approval to add a file to a certain document library or any other third party triggers or custom um, integrations that you want to trigger that approval with. It's incredibly versatile. So if anyone has any questions about Microsoft approvals or Power Automate or are looking to adopt it within your organization, please reach out to us either by email at sales at pragmaticsolutions.co.uk, by phone on 01908 038 110, or go to our website, pragmaticsolutions.co.uk. Thanks.